there's as much of a demand for their next sequels as there is for a film adaptation of these games. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down one of our most requested topics. Top 10 video games that should have film adaptations. You implore me. You always were one for fancy words. This list was the subject of much debate in the WatchMojo office, as with over 100 suggestions, it was difficult to narrow it down. First off, any games that already had a theatrical released film are excluded, although direct-to-DVD anime films won't apply. We picked the rest on a balance of fan hype, story originality, and how well the subject matter can translate onto film. Jeez, what an obvious sales pitch. Sorry, but on some topics I just get carried away. Number 10, Halo. Lord of the Rings director Peter Jackson already attempted to turn this series into a film back in 2005, and sadly, that never went anywhere. Uh, that wasn't supposed to happen. Still, the concept of humanity's struggle for survival against a genocidal covenant of aliens, while also dealing with the parasitic entity known as the Flood, there's definitely a lot to work with here. Could audiences connect with the character who never takes off his helmet? Does anyone care? I think we're just getting started. Number 9, Assassin's Creed 2. We already know there's a movie of this series being worked on, but which time period would we like to see? This is probably the way history will remember us. For us, it's a no-brainer. Ezio Auditore's story in the Italian Renaissance is a clear choice for a starting point. We already have many pirate films, so that rules out Black Flag, and Colonial America may look a little low budget for this production. The real question would be how heavily the story would deal with the animus elements so key to the franchise. I am an assassin. Number 8, Portal. It sure has one of the most vocal fan bases whenever you mention Cake. You're angry. I know. This is just a day too long. And nevertheless, the string of fan-made short films do indeed show that there is a strong demand for a Portal film. Oh, it's you. You know her? It's been a long time. There would be a number of hurdles to overcome in the translation, the fact that the main character doesn't talk being the biggest, but in the right hands, a Portal film would make for some mind-bending visuals. But I think we can put our differences behind us. For silence, you monster. Number 7, Chrono Trigger. Considered to be one of the greatest RPGs of all time, Chrono Trigger has a deep time-traveling story, starting back in 1000 AD, going to the 23rd century post-apocalyptic future, and then going back to 12,000 BC, where a kingdom of floating islands dotted the sky. The style and setting alone would make for an awesome movie. Also, considering the game has multiple endings, good luck trying to spoil this film to anyone who hasn't played it. Number 6, Gears of War. Seems like the nice setup for an intense and interesting action flick. For a time, the humans of Sarah knew the illusion of peace until Emergence Day. On a human inhabited planet, the population is on the brink of extinction, fighting a losing war against the locusts, a subterranean species that has emerged a decade earlier. Wow, cool! Not really. Hyperviolence and oozing with grandeur and machismo, the games were set up like an epic film series right from the start. You could get into a lot of trouble for doing this. Not anymore. Things have changed. Like Halo, Gears of War is another series that has attempted to get a film adaptation back in 2010, but again has gone nowhere. Delta, bad news. It didn't work. What do you mean, it didn't work? Number five. Bioshock. Pirates of the Caribbean director Gore Verbinski tried to get this film into production, but cancelled it due to budget concerns. So that's the third on this list. I chose something different. I chose the impossible. And, as with the other games on this list, the distinctive art style of Bioshock seems perfect for the big screen treatment. I seem to have forgotten my lighter. Oh. <laughs> oh! No matter. Are you sure? I have one right here. On top of all that, the strong, atmospheric history of the fall of Rapture is definitely a story worth exploring in film, especially now that the universe has been expanded to infinite proportions. Look, Mr. Douglas, it's 
Number 4. The Legend of Zelda There was much debate over this entry in the Watch Mojo office, mostly over the issue of how to treat the silent main character, Link. <laughs> that being said, the vast amount of fan-made films, as well as IGN's infamous April Fool's Day trailer, really shows that it is indeed possible to make something spectacular out of this and, more importantly, that there is a huge market for it. I welcome the hero of time. Just don't give Link his cartoon personality. Hey, excuse me, princess. Number three, Spec Ops, The Line. Out of all the modern military stories to choose from, none even come close to the caliber of emotional storytelling as in 2012 Spec Ops, The Line. You're the one who's fine, just sitting back, waiting for things to un themselves. No. You think I like watching these people die, huh? You think I won't carry this shit to my fucking grave? Set in the sandstorm enveloped ruins of Dubai, the line follows a group of soldiers down the path to insanity, where everyone is trying to kill them along the way. What the hell? This is an ACUs. That means he's 33rd. You think the CIA did this? Can't be. The guy's been rotten too long. Best yet, the story was inspired by the novel Heart of Darkness, which also inspired Apocalypse Now. The smell of napalm? Try dealing with the smell of white phosphorus. You've seen what this shit does. You know we can't might not have a choice, Bilgo. There's always a choice. No, there's really not. Number two, Deus Ex. Whether it's the insidious conspiracy theory plots or human revolution's moral dilemma of replacing parts of the human body with cybernetic components. They'll have their technology in your body. They can have the power to turn off your limbs the Deus Ex universe would have plenty of meaty sci-fi themes to work with. The body may heal, but the mind is not always so resilient. The social commentary would probably be pretty fitting for today's society as well. After all, don't Adam's glasses remind you just a bit of the Google Glass? This is who you are now. Look at me. Before we get to the top spot, let's take a quick look at some honorable mentions. You'll have to go through. The three trains. Uh. Here, this make you all nostalgic. You know that is actually before my time. <laughs> that is winter, though. Number one. Mass Effect. You might have noticed from some of our previous video game videos that we're big fans of the Mass Effect series. After all, a visually spectacular science fiction game with enough lore and emotion-filled moments to rival Star Wars is just begging for an adaptation. In the battle today, we will hold the line! There is technically a film in development, but once again, it's in development hell. Organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation, an accident. Maybe J.J. Abrams could go for a triple threat and helm this one too. A word to the wise though, if you make this into a movie, be extra careful with your ending. Despite the danger, it's a great opportunity. So those are our picks for the games we'd like to see made into movies. Now we'd like to hear from you. Spread your wings and fly, God be with you. Given the trend of awful game adaptations, are you confident enough to let these franchises go to the silver screen? Make free use of my traps, but take care not to fall in them yourself. Let us know what you'd like to see made into a movie, and for more top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Not interested in anything else. Don't touch anything else. Don't even, don't even look at anything else. Just well, obviously, you've got to look at everything else to, to find the escape pod.